This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So today's a bit of a different adventure. Since we met some amazing locals yesterday, we really dived deep into the local culture, ate some fantastic food. Today's gonna be a complete contrast of that, where we really want to showcase that there are two sides, maybe even more sides to Kuala Lumpur than you think and what we initially thought as well. Since we spent three years in Southeast Asia, we kind of expected Malaysia to be just the same as every other country that we've been to here in Southeast Asia. But we were completely wrong. So we have come to Bukit Bintang, which is in the center of KL. And I think this will show you exactly what we're talking about. We're going to one of the most popular attractions here in KL. So much happens here. There are always so many people and we're gonna show you exactly why. What we can tell already, we are just surrounded by Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Bulgari, Cartier. Oh my gosh, it's just like brands galore. This entire building behind me is Louis Vuitton. And when we're walking in this area, we kind of feel like we're in New York. We all know that New York gives us a vibe of anything can happen. Dreams can come true. You can get anything you ask for. And that's the vibe we got as soon as we arrived here in KL. Except for the fact that cuisine is exquisite, cultures are vibrant, and the cost of living is about this big compared to New York. Everyone's just taking selfies everywhere and look at the crowds of people over there. Oh, they're doing something. They're doing something. What are they doing? What's happening? I don't know. Something's happening. Some commotion. <laughs> As you can tell, this is the hub of where everything happens. I want to find out what they're doing. Why are there so many people and it's midweek? This is kind of crazy. I have no idea what's going on, but it's like really cool. <laughs> Everybody's dressed up in their traditional way. I have no idea what's happening but I'm really curious to know what's going on. Is it okay if we ask you a question? We want to know what's happening today. Oh, uh, today uh, we have uh, this event called Keta Pisaro. We celebrate our Malaysia Day. Malaysia Day? Yes. Oh my gosh. It's all of us from all of uh, one country, we celebrate Malaysia Day. Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's really cool. We actually had no idea. Ah, uh, yes, yes. And awesome. you look so good. You I love amazing. your outfit. Oh, thank you. You thank look you. so wow. good. Thank we were you. like, we had to <laughs> it's, okay. it's called Malaysia Melayu with the uh, sarong. Uh -huh. uh, oh. So unique uh, clothes for Malaysia yes. Day. Yes. So you have to dress up today? Yes. Yeah. So we all dress up in our unique way to our, all of us to celebrate. Uh. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Thank you so much for telling us. <laughs> we appreciate you. that. Thank, thank you, you so much. Right. Miguel. Miguel. Yeah. Okay. Miguel. okay. We're Chef and Dev. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. you. Thank Bye. You. Wow, that was so awesome to actually ask someone what's going on today. That's kind of embarrassing that today is Malaysia Day and we didn't know. But thanks to asking a friendly local, now we know. That's why we understand why everybody's wearing their beautiful outfits. Hi, sorry, you look amazing. <laughs> I just had to tell you that. Yes, so we just heard that it's Malaysia Day. So we wanted to ask you a question, if that's okay. So can you tell us about your outfits? So what I'm wearing today, it's, um, this is actually a kabaya. Okay. It's a lace kabaya. And I'm wearing a 1950s and a 1950s uh, hip scarf. Yeah. And a sarong batik actually. Oh. These are vintage. I love yeah. it. Thank you so It's much. absolutely amazing. So you chose to wear this because it's Malaysia Day. So well, this is in conjunction of the Karenta P. Sarong event. Uh, to come together and to celebrate diversities and, and the beauty of our um, our culture. You know? yes, yes, exactly. I love that. You're actually celebrating your culture, but you look beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely. So I had to come and speak to you. <laughs> well, Thank you. Nice pleasant meeting you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Wow, I absolutely love what they're wearing today. Everybody looks different. Everybody looks colorful. And they're so happy to celebrate being different or being unique. And I think that really reminds me of being at home, being in South Africa, because we, we're so different as well, but we're all united. And I love that about Malaysia. We just met some 
lovely people. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> How are you? Ireland and England. Wow. Thank you so much for Take watching. Oh, nice to meet you Thank both. Bye-bye. Oh, that's so lovely. We just met some really lovely people and they just watch our vlog. Oh, it's so refreshing and actually heartwarming to meet them. There's such a electric vibe here in KL and we kind of feel like we're in Times Square, something like that. Yes. So you could just stand here and just watch all the people <laughs> and get that energy from them. The vibe here is so good. Everybody is dressed beautifully. There are crowds and crowds of people. I was really not expecting this today. in itself but what about going to an international food court where you can literally pick a country any country that you want and feel like you're having lunch right there you can get food from Mexican Japanese Thai Morocco Korean and Malay we had the most exquisite Chinese hot plate and it was only 10 ringgit and you would think wow in a fancy mall like this you pay 10 ringgit for lunch and it was out of this world international city getting food from all over the world people from all over the world and today happens to be Malaysia day so it's extra special that we're out we've now decided to have a coffee at a restaurant called the loaf and it's beautiful because it's got see-through glass windows you can overlook everybody outside still in their beautiful costumes and we thought we'd test out the coffee here at the pavilion it only cost 12 ringgit <laughs> thank you oh, how good <laughs> it's a coffee macadamia danish it looks amazing Previously, we had some roti chennai on the street in a really local setting and we're surrounded by all the high-end shops and now restaurants like this. So there are so many different sides of KL and that's why we were completely blown away since we've got here. We just got our delicious coffee that we're going to have with our little treat. And since it's Malaysia Day, we actually got two for one coffee. So I'm really happy about it. <laughs> and since we're comparing Kuala Lumpur to New York, we want to show you our apartment to, say, to show you that you don't have to break the bank to live in a really nice place. Let's go see it. So we wanted to actually share where we're staying with you because since we were talking about New York, there's actually a guy on TikTok that spends $950 on his apartment. And if he laid down, his head and his feet could touch both walls of his apartment. So <laughs> we wanted to share with you that we get so much value right in the heart of KL. Starting with the kitchen, we've got this beautiful white kitchen with a washing machine. And if you've been living out of the same bag, for three years a washing machine is really important and over here we've got a really nice open air lounge with a smart TV where you can watch all of your favorite YouTube channels please subscribe if you haven't I think Emma is super happy to live here now off to the bedroom where we've got our super extra extra large bed <laughs> it's literally fit for not even a king but maybe like seven of me one two three four five six Seven. Now that we've established that, let me show you the best part of our room. Since we're on the 51st floor, we get the most exquisite views of the Patronus Towers. We just never get tired of looking at them. This bathroom is super fancy and it's quite large. I mean, for our apartment, this is perfect for a couple. We've got a nice waterfall shower, huge basin, really nice mirror. But the best part of living here at Star Suites has got to be the rooftop pool. Look how cool this view is. Not only do we have the most amazing pool, but we just get the most awesome views of the towers. I mean, what more could you ask for? And since this reminds us so much of New York, you're actually paying 
third of the price. So I think we're gonna have to come and take a dip later. As we said before, the view of the Petronas Towers from our room was pretty cool, but I think this is hard to beat. Since Malaysia has a 90 day visa, it's pretty easy to get used to a good pool, gym, Wi-Fi, a good place to stay. I think it's perfect for digital nomads or travelers on the go. on YouTube full-time, we felt the need to increase our online presence and design our brand new website with Squarespace. Shev and Dev has been beautifully designed with this easy to use all-in-one platform. We love the wide range of award-winning templates and we're super happy that we get to embed our YouTube channel in as well as our brand new merchandise line. Squarespace has a built-in responsive design and we're super happy with the outcome no matter what device we use. Through our contact page, we are able to stay in touch with our community through email, keep our social profiles up to date, and manage members-only content. So head over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain.